Everyone has hope, but hope is not enough. Action cures fear, and hope needs action to welcome victories. Today we're going to be talking about building confidence and conquering fears. Fear is real, and first you have to acknowledge it before you conquer it. And confidence. Confidence is acquired and developed. Nobody is actually born confident. The magic of thinking big by Dr. David Schwartz plays some very key points that he states with regards to building confidence and conquering fear. So we've all heard that saying, it's only in your mind. The quote presumes that fear isn't in your mind. But it is, it does exist. Look, fear is real. If a doctor finds an infection in the patient, they then proceed with treatment, but as well as physical treatment, in this video I'll be covering the mental treatment. Unfortunately, fear prevents people from getting what they really want out in life. So here's eight types of fear with eight types of action that will conquer it. Number one, embarrassment because of personal appearance. Action. Improve it. Whenever you're a man or woman, personal hygiene, grooming, beauty, taking care of yourself, that's the action. Just that your effort to do so. Number two, fear of losing a customer. Action. Just work double as hard. Correct anything that you could have done to cause the boss and confidence of the customer towards you. Number three, the fear of failing an exam. Action. Convert the worry to study. It's a flip of the switch. Number four, fear of things beyond one's control. The action. Turn your attention to relieve the fear of others. Three. Number five, the fear of being hurt out of your control. The action. Switch your attention. Do something different. Go for a walk. Go in the garden. Pick up some leaves. To switch your mind, do something different. Number six, fear of what others may think or say of you. Make sure what you are about to do is right and then do it. In other words, nobody does anything worthwhile for which they aren't criticizable. Number seven, the fear of investment. Action. Analyze all factors. Make a decision and stick to it. Trust your judgment. Number eight, the fear of people. Action. Put the other person into perspective. All people, humans are pretty much alike. So those eight types of fear have a simple action, a simple solution. There are two steps to curing fear and gaining confidence. So number one, isolate the fear. Pin it down. Determine exactly what you're afraid of. Maybe that's writing it down. Point it out. An example, if I was scared to start a YouTube channel, I would have written it down, figured out, okay, I'm scared to start a YouTube channel. Why? What is my type of fear? What am I afraid of? And number two, take action. When it comes to building confidence, your memories can play a very big part in this. Your memories can help you with building confidence. Let me explain. Dr. Schwartz explains that there are simple ways to actually do so. So using the memories, firstly, deposit only positive thoughts into your memory bank. Similar to that whole think positive. Number two, don't dwell on unpleasant situations. Number three, count your blessings. Show gratitude. Even if that means writing a gratitude list of three things every night, or when you're having these unpleasant thoughts, think of things that you're grateful for. And last, give yourself credit for your victories and accomplishments. Take a look at yourself and just be proud. Give yourself some credit. So using your memories to build confidence is amazing and taking things into the future and from now on, here's five key exercises to building your confidence. Sit in the front of the row. Sit in the front row. Make it a rule. If you're going to an assembly, if you're going to a lecture, wherever it may be, normally people like to sit in the back. Well, Dr. Schwartz explains, there are people that are probably going to be bored or don't seem to care, or they just don't have the confidence in themselves to maybe want to raise a hand or ask a question. Sitting in the front, it makes you seem interested. It also gives you that reason to be pointed out and ask the question where you can use your confidence to answer. And if that is you, the next bit is practicing making eye contact. This is key. Someone's going to know you're interested and involved when you give them eye contact. It may be hard at first, I understand. You might be looking to decide and this and that. How about you get to grip with it once you realize that there's actually nothing wrong. You just breathe easy and just look at the person that you're talking to as much as you can. They're another human being. Put yourself into that perspective as mentioned. Number three, 
walk 25% faster. Why is this? But walking 25% faster means that you are more likely to get something faster. If you're in a walking race, for example, and you're walking 25% faster than everyone else, you obviously have somewhere to get to before them. Your time is more valuable. You also understand that you need to do something and you have something to do. Casually just walking somewhere means that you've got more time than you think you do. Walking 25% faster means you've got things to do. You have something you need to attend to, whatever it may be, let's give it a go. Practice speaking up, something I'm practicing. It's a bit late while I'm recording, however. I think it gets better every time. And something that can help, and maybe I should take my own reverse sometimes. Put your chest up. Keep your shoulders to the side. But just take a nice breath before you do it. Put your head up. I may be a victim of this, but try not to talk with your head down. That will. It makes you seem less confident. Talk with your head up. If you're talking to someone front on, I'm talking to the camera right now, so I have to keep my head up at all times. If you're having a normal conversation with someone face on, give yourself the impression that you're listening. And you should be. And last, but my favourite, something that I like to practice a lot. Something I do, I, I just did naturally. You might not see in the videos, because I'm trying to be serious. Smile big, just smile, smile, I mean it. They even said it. If you just tell yourself to smile, you're more likely to feel better about yourself. You're more likely to start smiling more. If you frown, I wonder what happens. So, when you can, smile, and smile big. That's it. So whenever there's a reason to smile, just smile. I've completed this video. So I'm happy about that now. It's a really simple video. It's breaking down how to conquer fear and build confidence. I hope you can take these steps and work on it yourself every day. You got this.